I personally don't like suffering. I suffered for many, many years of my life. I asked for help so many times and no one knew the answer. Uh, one lady, I will say, did have part of the answer, but she didn't have the whole answer. She said, uh, take a supplement, which I'll talk about a little bit later, but she didn't tell us, you know what? It's the food you're eating that's destroying your body. It's the food that you're eating that's causing you all the pain and suffering that you're in. Why you have these periods, believe it or not, are self-inflicted. It's not some other random cause. It's what you yourself are doing to yourself and you don't even realize it and it's terrible. I suffered from painful menstrual cycles for many, many years uh, in many, many cycles. I can't promise that it was every single cycle over a 17, 20 year period, but it was a lot and it was terrible and I hated it and I dreaded it. And I thought, this is the price of being a woman. No man will ever understand the pain that I'm going through. Nobody really understood the pain I was going through. I thought that every woman experienced the same exact pain as I experienced because I would ask about cramps. What I was experiencing was not cramps. It was something totally different uh, and excruciatingly painful. I um, used to liken it to being stabbed with a rusty knife repeatedly. Uh, one of the symptoms of how it manifested. Um, crazy. Uh, someone always comments, how do you know what it feels like to be stabbed with a rusty knife? Good point. Funny, funny thing just happened to me last week. Um, I accidentally chopped off part of my finger uh, while cutting some cheese. Uh, very dumb, by the way, how I did that. And uh, less painful than, uh, sure, it wasn't rusty, but be cutting a part of my finger off, stabbing myself with a knife, less painful than my menstrual cycles used to be. Um, I can go story after story after story, almost fainting, uh, writhing around on a floor multiple times in offices when I'm at work, locking myself in my office, uh, story after story, Vicodin being in Tylenol 800, Vi generic Vicodin and Tylenol 800 being the only thing to cancel out the pain that I was going through on my menstrual cycle. Not normal. And uh, when I would ask lady friends about this, they would give me some answer. Uh, but, and you know, cramping is normal, not normal what I experienced. And I know many other women experience this. Uh, so first thing you need to know, not normal. Two, you do not have a low tolerance of pain. You probably have a very high tolerance of pain. So don't go down that dark, dumb rabbit hole. Because uh, for many years, I thought it was me. I thought I had a very low tolerance of pain and that I couldn't, I just couldn't deal with periods. And that was just me. Uh, and actually it was the contrary. I could deal with a very high amount of pain. Uh, and somehow survive and get through it. I hated that time of the month. I dreaded it. I thought that was the way it was and that it was going to be that way forever. And I would, you know, beg for help. I would beg whoever in whatever universe to please help me. Uh, and, you know, that didn't work either. And then I found a lovely thing called the birth control pill. Uh, thank you, Planned Parenthood. And that helped a bit to lessen the pain, but that wasn't the solution. If you read the side effects of that and you actually understand the side effects that could potentially happen, you shouldn't take the pill. The solution totally also wrecks your hormones, manipulates your hormones. And so, yeah, I felt, um, I felt a lot better uh, when I was on the pill, but long-term, not good. I actually know somebody personally that um, had a blood clot due to that. And that's scary. And you think, oh, that's never going to happen to me. No, think again, it totally can happen to you. So again, not the solution especially if you're a smoker like I was, definitely not the solution. Um, 20 years of pain, have kids, pain goes away. Wow, this is amazing. Uh, then I don't have a period for a long time. Also feel crazy. You will feel very, very bad if you have no period. And if you have no period right now, you probably do feel really bad. But again, you feel how you're feeling is normal. No, we need to have our hormones in balance, people. We need to have our, uh, and ladies, we need to have our hormones in balance and we need to have everything functioning properly in our body to really know what we're supposed to be feeling like. And when that happens, you're going to be like, oh my God, is this how life is supposed to be? We're not supposed to feel like crap. We're not supposed to have back pain, headaches, uh, close to migraines. We're not supposed to have these debilitating period cramps. Like when I mean debilitating, I mean like you can't move or if you do move or you have to walk very slowly or I don't know, uh, faint. Uh, you have to faint because you're in so much pain. You have to like put your head between your knees because the pain is unbearable. Okay. 
just some examples. Um, it's, we don't realize that we're doing it to ourselves because we get educated by marketing that we should eat McDonald's, that we should eat DiGiorno's pizza, that we should eat Nestle Crunch, that we should eat Kit Kats. Nobody's promoting the foods that we should eat because unfortunately there's not a lot of money in that and there's a lot of money in junk food and there's a lot of money in ultra processed food and there's not really a lot of money for big food in, in eating what's provided to us by mother nature. Uh, so what happens is we start eating these foods as a little kid and we get addicted to these foods, these ultra processed foods. We get addicted to things with seed oils, sugars, fake things. I, I ate so much fake food. These things are not real and they wreak havoc on our body. And so when we start eating like foods that like provided by, by nature, um, you're going to feel a lot better. You're going to feel so much better. And, um, you got to eliminate all that other stuff. But the problem is we get super highly addicted to these foods. And it's not just me. It's, it's, it's everybody, everybody, unless you're eating like a proper human diet, you are addicted to these foods. I'm so sorry. I've made posts about this and people are like, but I love my carbohydrates. I know you do. Everybody does. Um, because they're good because they make us feel good, but the long-term effects are terrible. So like I've said, how this manifested for me of destroying my body was my menstrual cycle. My friend, Dr. Robert Kiltz, says PCOS is plant-caused ovarian syndrome. So if you have PCOS, you have plant-caused ovarian syndrome because you eat like crap. Sorry, that's the way it is. If you have menstrual disturbances, it's because you eat like crap. And uh, I wish somebody would have been that honest with me when I was 14. Like if I, first of all, I didn't talk to anybody about it until much later in life, but I never asked my mom for help about it. Strangely enough, I don't know why. Um, it's not like we didn't have a, a relationship. We just didn't really talk about that stuff. We didn't talk about any of that female stuff. And I really wish I had that person in my life that could talk about my female stuff. And that's a totally different story for another day. Um, but it's not like it was because we didn't like each other. It was just, we didn't talk about it. And that is another thing. You need to have that like female influence in your life that understands these things, that knows about bras, that knows about periods, that knows about makeup, that knows about boys, um, you know, and how to navigate your teenage years, which I believe is the hardest years of a woman's life during, you, you go through so many physical changes. And if you are, oh man, that was like the roughest time for me was my, was the years of puberty was probably the roughest time in my life. Um, and I didn't really have anyone that I talked to about it. And I really wish I did. So that's just sidebar, side note. If you need that and you don't have that, find someone who can be that for you. Um, and if you want, send me an email and maybe I can help you. I'm not promising anything, but, you know, um, I can at least email you back and give you some advice. Okay. So where was I? We need to eliminate the crap out of our diets. We need to have eat the proper human diet. And... Um, we need to first, if you have period disturbances, if you have any hormonal disturbances, do this immediately at once. One, you're going to go on an elimination diet. I'm not going to call it the carnivore diet. I'm going to call it an elimination diet because I'm going to have you eat how you should be eating that we were eating for um, thousands of years until big food came along. There you go. Big food and big pharma, they work together very well. Make lots of money on our behalf because we eat shit. And then we get sick and then we take meds and it's a, it's a dwindling spiral of, of crap. So do the following, um, beef, butter, bacon, eggs, cook in beef tallow, cook in lard, cook in bacon grease, cook with ghee. Um, if you like fish, eat fish. If you like chicken, eat chicken, but you want to, you have to make sure you get some ruminant animals in there and you have to get some fatty meat in there and you have to eat a lot of eggs. So eat that, eat those things until your heart's content. And eliminate everything else. I'm, I'm not going to go into the six billion other things you can eliminate from your diet. Don't eat junk food. Don't eat ultra processed food. Don't eat stuff that was made by a company. Eat foods that were made by Mother Nature. Don't even eat vegetables. Just be very strict with those specific foods that I mentioned for 90 days. Two, take evening primrose oil every single day. If you do track your period, you can take from day 14 to the end of your cycle, but you want to take it every day. You want to take what someone recommended to me, 1,000 international units. Um, 
one or two capsules of evening primrose oil. And I understand that this is not carnivore, but I am not going to just, you know, blindly follow an ideology and not give my recommendations with something that actually helped me with this. So yeah, I got it. Not carnivore. That's why I'm calling it. You're going to do an elimination diet and you're going to add this supplement. You could also take some electrolytes daily uh, to help. And that's to help with this process of eating more than to help with your menstrual cycle. But obviously magnesium and calcium is going to help your body and help your menstrual cycle. But you could literally not do the electrolytes and you could do how I'm eating and do obviously take salt with your food. You could do how I'm eating and take the evening primrose oil. And in 30 days, if you do this, uh, you're going to have a totally different life. I swear. Uh, you can come back to me and say I'm wrong or I'm right or whatever. Um, but just try this. And by the way, I'm going to keep making videos about this until I can get the message out. It's this is a new way to eat. It's not really new. It's a very old way to eat. It's a very ancestral way to eat. But I guarantee if you start eating this way, you're going to be remarkably different. You're going to feel remarkably different. And you're going to resolve so many issues in addition to your menstrual cycle that you didn't even know existed. And you're going to start feeling like what normal actually is. And I swear the aches and pains and diseases and all that stuff, that's not normal. And uh, again, these problems, we didn't have all these problems such a long time ago or else we wouldn't have existed as the human race for so long. Um, we have crazy obesity. We have crazy diabetes issues. Kids are getting fatty liver disease. Kids are getting diabetes. Kids are overweight. And that's happening now. I can remember a long time ago, a long time ago, 30, 40 years ago, I didn't see the obesity that I see now. I didn't see, you don't see as much suffering, human suffering, physical suffering as you do now. Um, and when I say that, it's not like I'm looking at every human being all over the United States. I'm just talking about the places that I've been when I go visit home. And I'm like, wow, this is totally different, specifically in the Midwest, by the way. Um, and we don't need that. It's not normal. It's not natural. And it's not to fat shame anybody or whatever, but it's all of this is self-inflicted and it's self-inflicted from the junk that we eat. I mean, it's garbage. It's not food. And when you go back to actually eating food, you're, you just, you change everything. So the main message of this video is stop suffering from menstrual cycles. But if you just do what I said in any circumstance, you're going to feel better. I hope this helps somebody. If you found this useful, please let me know in the comments. If you've ever experienced any sort of menstrual disturbances, I would love to know in the comments. Also, if you're on a carnivore diet, uh, let me know. And if that helped you with your menstrual cycle or anything, I would love to hear about it. I really appreciate you listening this long. Um, and like, comment, talk to you later. Bye.